Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today and today we've got something fairly rare in this box today and it's actually one of the vacuums that Carl's actually been after for about five years. Um, this one, we're keeping our fingers crossed with this one. It was delivered by Parcel Force, opposed to a couple of the other uh, um, sort of couriers. Um, this one was actually sold by a collector. It was uh, cutting his collection down and had them on. But this was a buy it now on eBay. And as it's so fragile, I'm actually going to give Carl nope. a hand to actually open it. Um, so we've got the old clean cut there. We're going to have to see exactly which way it was. If I turn it the other way up, it falls over. So we're just going to... So I should imagine the heavy bits down the bottom. Yeah, those clean cuts are very, very good scissors, but they do, they are so sharp, they go for anything, don't they? I can see where it is, mate. So we've got a little bit here. Like that. So you just slice this little stuff. And then do the rest. Yeah, so we do that. The problem with these particular vacuum beams is they do take a lot of room up. So, um, and it is one of the, I think this is actually one of the last ones he actually needs to complete one of his, uh, one of his, uh, sort of parts of his collection, really. Um, if we only had choice of getting one of these sorts of vacuums, this would be the one that he would have had, he would have, um, liked to have had over all of them as well. So, these don't turn up very often, like you say, I've been looking for about four years on one of these. Just missed out on a couple. Oh, um, it's green. And we got, got down, which way is it up? The guy has absolutely packed this one, 100%. Um, the guy knows what he's doing packaging it. I mean, it wasn't a bad price, considering. Uh, these these particular style of vacuums, um, everybody seems to want them, because uh, to find one actually that works. Oh no, uh, I don't know what that is. That's shreddings. Look at this lot, so we can see here. No, I don't know what that is, that's his popper. That's a proper thing that does that. <laughs> well, we've got some uh, some some dust already on the floor already. So as you can see, look. Mm -hmm. See, it's all nicely polished. This one, this one, apparently has been gone through. All the bearings have been replaced My on dude, it. The edge. Yeah, there it is. That's the one he's he's got. The new high power little back on there. It's a bit of a little. Yeah. New high power. I love this one. Um, this one really, I mean, was one of the last attempts really to make the, the, the Hoover Junior more modern, really, and I don't think it worked that well because in the 70s you had the you had the um, the Electrolux 500 series, which were very very good cleaners indeed, really. Yay! This guy has absolutely packed it, and I mean, to be I honest with you. Something. Ah, uh, not on the not on the set E, mate. No, because it's gonna go. You're gonna rip the set E. Do it on the floor. Oh, you're gonna rip the set E. <laughs> As you can see, it does like popping all these other things. This time I'm gonna cut for it. I'm gonna cut through that. Uh, I'll let him get on. Well, lots of fun doing that. I've uh, edited that part of the video, the video obviously. Don't want to. Uh, this, is, this is the same kind of thing, I suppose. So it comes, the guy has absolutely packed it really well, and I'll, I'll be amazed if there's anything broken on it. But I've probably just now, um, we've now got to get this one out. And I'm going to get my on this one, because, you know, the front, the back bit, yeah, he has, he's done it right now. I'll explain to you what's going on with this one. This one is not a... I just want to blow it all over the floor. So now... So there we go. So it's not bad. I mean, you know, it's not a perfect condition one, but the perfect condition ones you're looking at an arm and leg um, for one of these. Um, this one has a few little issues, and we'll get into that in a minute. Overall, really pleased with this one. As you can see, that like you can't really see in the light here, but it is very shiny indeed. And, it, and this is a sort of if we were going to polish it up, you can see how shiny it is. Do you have these bags? 
Yeah, that's the one I got from the um, the store, I like that one. Yeah, so it does fit in these. There is a little bit of yellow it does there. It fit in the Hoover Compugs. Um, the they Hoover also did say, so this has had new bearings all the way through the machine. Suppressor's so been taken out of it. This is something that we would do anyway. Yeah, I want a flaking So it's all been lubricated up. Um, this back bit here. Dad, it don't fit into the Hoover high powered compact Hoover. Yeah, he said he used HEPA flows on it. Who? Yeah, leave it down then. Who? I may have to use a HEPA on there. So, uh, so we'll, we'll just, so as you can see, it is absolutely in lovely condition. This is slightly off colour. Um, actually, it looks better than it does on the photographs. If you can look at there, this is darker than that. So what you could do, and what I have done before, you can take this part off here, just this section here, and sand it back to this or you could retro bright it but the problem with retro brighting is if you don't know what you're doing with it you can ruin it i mean like you say it's a little bit yellow there but that was something oh, we already knew and the amount of vacuums that coal has that's come in this sort of condition we're not bothered about it's got the original flex on it and there's a slate repair you can't really see it but there's a slate repair there which is a a weak spot on the machine so what we're probably going to do, we're probably not going to start with a cable on it at all to make sure it doesn't break ever again. Um, so this one is from, this is Lucy based off a Hoover Junior 11, 1108. It's from, um, so, it's a, so it's a, so it's a U2210 um, April 1983. So this one, this is over 35 years old. Power that bit there is still one piece. This is a bit yellow, but like you say, these can't be fixed for retro brighting. By the way, the only way you can get, if you're lucky enough to find a new lens, but there's no marks on it. Very good actually. But what we what I pay for it really is it's a bargain really. So we'll get the end of one. We'll give this one a quick uh, demo. But the bag isn't fitting that well, um, and I think the owner said that he used pneumatic HEPA flows. Yay, pneumatic HEPA flows! But I think we are a little bit low on HEPA flow bags actually at the time we did the video. No, we do have to come buy new ones for Yeah, them. I'm going to actually order some from... Yeah, because the thing with HEPA flows were... HEPA flows for a collector were a cheap way of get putting fibre bags in there now. But when you go yeah, to... Yeah, so you can put them in next But when you go to places like um, Curry's and places like that, they're twelve ninety nine for 10 now. Um, £12.99 for 10 Sebo, Siebel do about, I think you can get eight of their bags for the same amount of money. And I think in the long run, I think the Siebel ones are slightly better because they're elongated. So we'll get the handle on and we'll give this one a quick going around. So this one also does come with a Hoover plug look. Um, so I'm thinking this one could be a um, electricity board exclusive or something maybe. Um, because I don't you don't see these Hoover plugs very often, so it is like you say, you can see how shiny it is. I have shoehorned a terrible power um fiber bag to go in there, those um four home ones, just for the demo, until we can then um, investigate to find out why it's not fitting that well. Because it didn't fit in that well, but it came from a uh Hoover Starlet, and I think the holes, I think they're generally the same size. Um, the starlight ones but it's not fitting that well so let's get this one turned on then let's put it in over here so what we do is it i mean the annual release all works on this one it's a nice one so you click it down push it down like that this bit here still in one piece um these split here quite often um, it's just a way it's just a bad design these here the reason why these are so rare is because they were so badly made like how, how wobbly the handle is but that's normal um yeah Dog. yeah they're so they're so cheaply made or the plastic they're so bad just like the original turbo powers were it's quite hard actually i'll be on you mate they're actually quite hard to find one that's in one piece so like you say, Cole be, will be treasuring this one. And give us a quick go, would you mean? Just... Turn it on. 
Yeah, that's all right. So it does run silky smooth, that one. You can tell it's had new bearings in it. It's had a little quiet, that one. So. silky smooth oh. um what's, what's going on got the clip there yeah so really pleased with this one because over the moon with this one as you can tell um and it is nice to buy one that you don't really have to do anything with it i uh, don't don't make no cause it, yeah we're not using that part on there because the weak spot on the air like i said earlier today and, and it's a very common fault it's been um glues and epoxy under there. So when I store the cable, I'm just going to put it around the top um, just to make sure it doesn't um, put any excessive wear on it because these break quite easily. Um, on the Terrible Power, you can still get the parts, but on a compact, these have exactly the same parts as a Starlight, um, which are practically impossible to get hold of. So uh, on the next video, we'll do a pickup demo with this one. Maybe a demo with some tools or something as well. But really pleased with this one. You know, he's over the moon with this one. It all runs nice and smooth. It is nice to get a nice machine actually occasionally, one that you don't have to do anything with. But I do like to actually work on them. It is nice to work on them as well. So bye for now. And please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.